What's going on, my fellow reef builders? I'm Jake Adams coming back to you from the Reef Builder Studio. And I had a run and gun style video because an opportunity has presented itself to go pick up a really nice overgrown Acropora colony from one of our local fish stores. I've been looking at this thing for years and only very recently it clicked in my mind that I actually wanted it. And um, the store up in Boulder had a really reasonable price on it, but then the owner made a boss call, so props to Mike, said he didn't want my money, he wanted some coral frag. So we're gonna do basically a professional reef aquarium coral trade. And so before I pack up the corals to use in this trade, I'm gonna go ahead and show you them in the tank. So the store in Boulder is called uh, Aqua Imports and they specialize in a lot of freshwater fish and saltwater fish, but they are in the process of setting up a brand new uh, SPS reef aquarium display. So I am going to reach out for some of my classic corals here. This is my Palau Estrella that I collected in the Solomon Islands. I'm going to give them a piece of that from another tank. Um, this Milka Stylo right here is definitely ready for a new home. I've got pieces of that everywhere. Um, what else do we have? I've got some random coral frags in here. You know, I think I think I own a really nice piece of Walt Disney. He doesn't really care about names so much. He just wants them to look pretty from around the corner, you know, from across the room, like I like to say. And then some of these assorted frags are from Tenuouses and Millies and different things. So I'm not going to point those out specifically, but I will tell him about it. One coral that I'm really excited to, to share with him because he's a very good uh, SPS Acropora coral grower is my Immortal Torch. So here it is under blue light. And if I'm really lucky, just a couple presses of the, uh, of the uh, Radeon button should get me back to kind of a full spectrum daylight. There we go. A couple more clicks. There we go. So since this isn't gonna be for one of his display tanks, I think I'm gonna take him this chunk right here. Yeah, that thing gotta be a really nice, good starter chunk because the coral I'm picking up is also really big. So you saw the tank here in blue light and now here it is in white light. Here's some pretty good uh, pieces of the stylo, but you know, I could just pass that guy along and make myself some space. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pack these up and then head my, uh, take myself off to Boulder and go scoop up this really nice Acropora colony. What's up guys, made it to Boulder. You can see behind me, Aqua Imports is, uh, you can see a few different display tanks inside. I haven't seen this big acro in about a month, but I've been looking at it for five years, so I have a clue what to expect. So I'm gonna grab my mask, grab the corals to trade, and then we're gonna beeline to that coral to see what we're working with. That's a lot of coral work with. That is a lot of coral right there, my friends. I don't know if you can hear me over the uh, the buzzing, but this thing is probably about 16 inches by maybe like 22, 24 inches, and it's just it's just glowing under the uh, Acro Optics LED light. Which surprisingly, I'm not even using a filter right now, and it's looking really good. So. Let's catch up with Mike and uh, show him some of the corals we brought. This is Mike, the owner of uh, Aqua Imports. Good doing? to see you again. I haven't yeah. seen you in the shop in a long time. Oh, yeah. Usually I'm here in the morning, but uh, yeah. this is your newest reef display. You got some Acro Optics on there. Yeah. They served you right. Yeah. And yeah, you have very little idea of what I brought you. So go ahead and yeah, crack it open surprise. and just, we're gonna put some corals out.
these are all pest free. I mean, it might be like a little bologna, a little aptasia here and there, but uh, don't. That's all right, we got plenty of bologna we can. So this is a tortuosa that I collected in Salm Islands five years ago. Uh -huh. nice. I call it the immortal tort. If you didn't look closely, you would think it was a California tort, but it just gets, and when it's small, when it's a small frag, it's like, it's got a lot of greenish teal to it. And as it gets awesome. bigger, it becomes really, really purple. Sweet. And it grows like crazy. That's why I call it that mortal tort. Cool, very cool. Yeah. And then what do we have in here? So this is actually Milka Stylo, but I've been keeping it in really bright light. So it's pink, but okay. the pulps will be purple when they come out. This is a fun chunk. It looks like not much. It looks like a stylo actually, mm -hmm. but it's, um, this is Palau Estrella. This is, okay. this is the weirdest SPS coral. You can put it in very high light or very low light. Mm. Um, not much color, kind of silvery, bluish, yeah. pinkish, but legitimately rare. Yeah. And then this is the Worldwide Corals Yellow Tip Stag. So instead of bringing you um, beautiful pieces, I thought I'd bring you chunks. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> chunks works, that, yeah. that you know are going Perfect. to erupt in growth. Yeah. Um, this is a cool stag right here that I selected in a tank in Australia and had it shipped back. Um, really fun purple stag, unlike uh, what we usually get wild. And then, um, what else is there? Kind of another stylo here that's pink with green polyps, uh, Miyagi so tort. Um, this is, well, came off the base. Yeah. But I thought I'd give you a nice chunk of uh, Walt Disney. Nice, awesome. You heard of that before, yeah, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Very cool. Um, last but not least, this is a over-lighted piece of uh, candy that I've had been growing for about 20 freaking years. This oh the, yeah? yeah. This is the most striped candy. Super is green it? mouths, super cool. green stripes. It right. grows fast in high light, yeah. but it looks better in low light. So you kind of right, got to find right, that middle right. ground. Awesome. Yeah, so there's some fun stuff in there. That's good stuff. All right, so tell me about this efflorescence here that you have. So this is a effflo that we brought in probably four or five years ago. I've been looking at it for a long and, time. And yeah, the, the Mariculture frags come in like you know this they like two and a half three inch in diameter and it's just a slow mover you know i don't think a lot of people appreciate it because of the color but unless know. it's growing fast yeah, it's, it's just right. a brown shell right and so this thing has just grown out like crazy and we've constantly fragged it and you know this thing's probably made you know hundreds of colonies at this point <laughs> that's and why that's we, why you're over it yeah we've just kept it around for so long and it's so cool and um it would be nice to have the real estate back yeah in the tank but it's it's really cool piece and i've never had like the heart to just chop it all the way up <laughs> i'm gonna try to get home uh in, in one piece as much as possible yeah. i got a big old toe so awesome. let me let me bring that in and uh, see where how well it'll fit yeah all right all right, so I think I brought a big enough tote. Yeah, and um, we're close. gonna see if I can uh, re reuse a, a funky method I've done before, where I make a hammock out of plastic bags. You know, kind of stretch it from one side to the other so the coral's not bouncing on the bottom. So we'll see if we can get that to work. It's gonna come. Something tells me it's gonna come easy enough. Oh, look at that! Comes me getting around this light fixture. Careful with the baby. All right, so as you can see, I was able to get it into this big tote. The coral's starting to slough quite a bit, but even had to like put it in an angle and add more water. We've got some, uh, some styrofoam here. 
some styrofoam on the sides just to keep it from scraping. And I think once I put the lid down, it'll keep these in place. So I am, I am super excited to get this thing home. Big ups to Mike and Aqua Imports uh, for growing this coral. I'm gonna keep it big for a little while, see what I can do. Um, but right now, shut this down, take a look around and uh, see if there's anything else that catches my eye. Alrighty, so I've made it back to Golden. Let's go take a look at this ginormous coral and see how it held up at the uh, 30 mile ride here. I'm curious, I think it should be fine. I think it'll be all right, don't you? Yeah, let's take a look. Here we go, here's the big tote. Oh, styrofoam came up. Let's see, let's see what we got in here. A little bit slimy, some very, uh, Expected a uh, little bit of roughage there on the edge, but no breaks. Oh, he kind of kind of tipped over a little bit. God, that thing is so freaking big. Well, let's go find some place that he's gonna fit. All right, so if you haven't seen the studio in a little while, here it is. I think the best place is going to be right here. So this is kind of what I call my secondary Acropora system. This is a uh, full daylight. I don't have any filter going on right now, but it is, you know, a little bit bluish because the cell phones are very sensitive to that. I've got a lot of the highlight Acroporas over here that have been doing super well. Got the Radeon G5 flanked by a couple G4s. And I think I can make a space right here. These hammer corals, all these euphilias, they don't need that much light, that much flow. Same thing with the candies here, Mystic Sunset. So I think I can uh, reshuffle basically this section right here, kind of push them off over here, where I've actually got a diffuser here on this uh, Radeon Gen 4 and I have some lower light stuff. So I am gonna clear a space right here and uh, then, gonna give a little rinse to this uh, big old Eflo because he's sloughing and sliming all over the place. But man, can't wait to get him in here because he's gonna look real good. So let's make some space for the giant Eflo. Good golly, that thing is freaking massive. You know what, I think he probably did most of the sloughing he was gonna do inside of this tub. Gave me a couple volunteer frags there in the bottom. Let's see if I can uh, pick him up one-handed and shoot at the same time. Carefully, carefully. Come on there, buddy. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a heavy coral. Whew. God, that is a lot of freaking coral. All right, let's take him to his home. Whew. This is a little bit hard and sketchy as hell to do with one hand. <laughs> All righty. Oh my goodness, look at that. Goodness, it's so freaking colorful. Oh boy. Man, that thing is even bigger than I thought. I have to put the wide angle on here. That thing dwarfs everything here else in this tank. Look at that big mammoth gem. Oh my God, he just like overpowers the entire tank. All right, so one thing that I thought would be cool to do while I'm still, you know, kind of messing with this coral is to weigh, to weigh it. So I'm just gonna hop on the scale real quick. I think I'm about 220 and change to 21.6. All right, so let me grab this coral. Probably will just hold it over the tank while I'm at it. Man, this thing is massive, 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 massive. Get that water off. There we go. Let's see how much the weight is now. It's so at two. 35.4. So this coral weighs almost 15 pounds. Oh my God, this thing is freaking heavy. There we go. Look at this happy, happy coral. Oof, oof. Man, I can't believe that this is a perfect spot for it. I'm literally gonna have to use the wide angle lens. Wide angle 
There we go. That's a little bit better. Look how big this thing is. Oh man. All righty. Let me, uh, I think now it's time to turn the flow back on and probably make him like a little bit better pedestal. So he's kind of sitting the way I would want him to. And uh, we're gonna let him sit for, I don't know, 10 minutes to a couple hours and just kind of revisit the coral after I've had some time to take a look at it. All right, so we have the ginormous, almost two foot diameter efflorescence, acropora efflorescence here at the studio. It's actually just on the verge, just on the verge of being a little bit too big, but I cleared out a couple of corals, made some space, fits here. It fits here so beautifully, you guys. I am so happy to have this corals. Um, I did a couple things here with the Radeon. I actually tilted it um, to face this way. That is one of the really cool things about having your lights suspended. You can make small adjustments and just without having to add another spotlight, I was able to just kind of turn the light this way a little bit. Again, the flow is all off right now, but all of it kind of moves this way here in the center. So I added um, just kind of a small, probably temporary pump here, just to kind of help drive the water flow vectors here towards this coral. You know, he's probably a little stressed out from uh, um, the transportation, but to be honest, man, the edges of the coral that did not get roughed off uh, in transit are already starting to extend their polyps. We only made three, three tiny little nub and frags. They're like not even worth, not even worth like, you know, worrying about. But this is a beautiful, super show coral. Big props to Mike at Opway Imports for growing this coral. I think this was probably one of those giving trees where he just kept fragging it, kept fragging it, kept fragging it for the store. Um, but right now, or coming up, my next challenge is really gonna be, you saw me get on the scale and weigh this coral. It's 15 pounds. So this coral probably has about as much calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, and general mineral demands as like all, all the other corals put together. I kind of highly doubt that all my other acros together weigh 15 pounds. So I kind of know what my daily um, alkalinity uptake is. So I think I'm gonna give it one day and measure the alkalinity and calcium in the buffer. And then, yeah, I'm gonna measure everything in about two days just to see how much this guy um, really needs because he's you know, these are super fast growers and he's gonna suck out about as much calcium and uh, carbonate as everything else here in the stew in this particular aquarium so really important to watch those things if you ever add a show size coral to uh, uh, an aquarium system just don't take it for granted that you can just do that like you can with a regular tank so um, Man, I'm very thrilled for this coral. I've been actually looking at it for years, and it's only very recently that it actually clicked in my mind to actually get it. So um, hit up Mike literally yesterday. He said, hey, you tired of looking at this coral? He said yes, and one thing led to another, and uh, now the coral, the bolder grown coral is here in Golden. Uh, took about less than an hour to get it here. Very, very fun experience. So thanks for coming along for the ride. It was, it's turning out real good. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video and probably take some time to enjoy this coral. Um, if you like videos of this sort, make sure to subscribe. If you have any comments about big corals, transportation, or really old corals, go ahead and pop those in the comments down below and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye guys.